Oh shit, that's crazy. That shit's in the room with him. Mm -hmm. oh. oh shit! Oh! It's the dark skin saver, my neighbor. Hey <laughs> man, we back again with another scary video, man. Today we got top ten crazy scary ghosts. Video, we man. We got Nukes Top 5 today. Nukes we ain't five. doing bizarre bugs. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. This is another like page that you guys recommended yeah. us. You know what I'm saying? So we no. got two pages, but this is one of them. As I get older, I start to realize that ghosts become more and more realistic as I get older, bro. Wait, Here's why, bro. So I'm downstairs oh, last okay. night, bro. And you know how you just get chills out of nowhere bro mm -hmm. I, I was over just downstairs heating up some shit in the motherfucking air fryer and I felt this motherfucking just this just just this breeze right I'm like fuck it's a little cold in this bitch so I'm chilling bro and all I all I I look over to the right bro and I see Palumi <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I look over to the right and I see Palumi like <laughs> and like I'm like what the fuck is that? So I'm in run mode. Like I'm, I'm like, you know that stance you hit when you're about to run? <laughs> and then this nigga got down on all fours. I started chasing him. <laughs> <I'm like, "That's laughs> and then I ran out the house, nigga. And that's when I that's when I came to y'all crib. I was like, can I sleep over here? Cause you know, you know, there's a ghost in the house, bro. <laughs> Why every time you always say And I'll be yeah. so invested, bro. Yeah. Hey, and then the next time you hit and pollute me. I don't know what I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> What I do, bro? Hey, man. Because I was asleep, but we'll get to this video, man. Switch the light. Now, apparently, you guys did not say, you know, anything about, you know, the light being, you know, turned off or changed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You guys. Y'all don't give a fuck. Probably like that. They don't give a fuck. So, they we're going to do that again. Scared. You know what I'm saying? So, let's get into it. Right. Yep. Y'all see, man, we just switched the light, man. Last time we did red, you know what I'm saying? Well, but let's know like what other light color you guys want to use next. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll be switching yeah. it up like that for you if y'all like it. Yeah. Damn. So, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, so let's get into the video. You know uh, I don't want to get scared. Hey! You, didn't, you didn't give me this time. <laughs> so you, you knew it was coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. a very spooky business. He professionally arranges and hosts seances in allegedly haunted and abandoned buildings what in the fuck? Toronto, Canada. Mm -mm. James is hosting a seance at the historic Lambton House with a group of curious participants. The Lambton House is a former inn that was built in Fuck 1860, no. and it is said to yeah. be really? extremely haunted. Now James White and his group are about to witness something absolutely terrifying. Why is her eyes glow? Yeah, I'm about to say, why that nigga oh, was so Dude, what the fuck? Bro, I would still be scared with that many people. Oh! That nigga got snatched. I would still shit myself even with that many people. Nigga, what the fuck is this thing is doing? Why is you still there, nigga? See, I'm out the window. Something pulled his chair. While in the middle of a seance, one participant is forcefully yanked backwards out of his chair by an unseen force. Mm. Bro, I would have fucking ran. Like, why did you just get back in position? Like, bro, I would have took the fuck off, bro. The door behind me was open. Oh, you were black? And, um, yeah. I had oh, you're not black enough. Sorry. Me, and. We had the door, like the door was open by, behind us, and we thought we heard something back there, but nothing was there. So we turned, and I looked, and I saw nothing. So I turned my head back towards the group, like the circle, and we're all holding hands. And then all of a sudden, I just felt like this force just come and pull me back, and it was like aggressive. Like aggressive. Nigga. Like, yeah, that shit. Uh, yeah. That's fake. I would have raided. Like, what the fuck? Me or I don't even know. Nigga. My feet were like flat on the ground and wasn't moving. 
I was holding hands with the people beside me, and it just pulled me. And it like felt like someone was coming up behind me, like standing up behind me as I'm sitting in the chair and like taking my shoulders and like pulling me towards the mirror. It was crazy. Fellow participants, nah, not, crazy not crazy enough, crazy enough. motherfucker. Yeah, their thinking. stories about the incident. It felt like he grabbed me like this. About the strange like, event, nigga. I'm nigga, I was really <laughs> and it was fantastic to see. Another witness says, "Yeah, see, fantastic to see." I don't know why people talk like that. Says, "I was there." Another epic seance with Ed James White seance. So did James White capture evidence of an unknown entity aggressively grabbing an innocent visitor at the no. Lambton house? It was fake. I leave it up to you to decide. Nigga, I decide to run. It, um, it's very <laughs> fake, huh? Cause... You know what? At least ran to like the middle of the room or something. You can't see shit. It's black Scream. as fuck. And it don't seem fake. Dark adventures. Hey, that's so what? I would have crawled away from here. Her about a very creepy experience he had while driving home late one night. The dash cam video shows the man driving down an isolated country road in the middle of nowhere. Suddenly, he spots something that makes his blood run cold. This is one of my biggest fears. Yeah. Like something being in the back of my car seat. Oh, is that? No, no, it's not that. Oh, it's yeah, not that. I thought it was something. I thought it was too, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh what the fuck? Excuse me, you need help? Hell no, I'm What the f***? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> all by herself in the middle of the night. As he gets closer, he is horrified when he sees that the woman is covered Did in that blood. blood. Yeah, I was... Worried for her safety, he rolls down his window and asks her if she needs help. Excuse me, you need help? After which, she lets out a blood-curdling scream. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> what the? At this shit. Point, the man notices that the woman appears to have no eyes, only black sockets. What? Terrified by her reaction, yeah, just the, the, camera, press, bro. the driver quickly just gets out of there. He says that he called the police, but they never found this mysterious woman. Now, so honestly, just, what do you think is going on here? By this what type of shit. In this God damn, nigga. Like I'm scared to encounter shit like this because I feel like. I will not stop, bro. Man, I will not either. Because I know, because some people, it's I like, guess. you know, it's fucked up. Because it's like, people can really need help, bro. And you could have been the one to help them. Yeah. But in today's world, bro, I'm just like, bro, I don't trust well, nobody. It's <laughs> black out here. And you got blood on you. Like, the fuck I'm up with you? What? What if she actually need help, bro? Um, Nigga, then she would be pleading help and not walking past the fucking car. Just, yeah. Or she would at least try to wave me down yeah, or something. Exactly, exactly. But the motherfucker. She did exactly like that. I said, doing that. a fucking millionaire walk. <laughs> Nigga, I'm gonna be that, but it's none of my business. It's none of my business. Oh, wow. She got blood on her. I said, I'm I not turning my head. Reverse this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I said, motherfucker, let me. Don't <laughs> 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 talk about that. Nah, 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 like, nah. If I'm gonna be honest with you, though, nah, I'm gonna be so honest with y'all. God forgive me, but like nigga, if the bitch started yelling at me, <laughs> yeah, uh, shut up. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I, don't know I think that I hit a horse or something. Is that a deer? <laughs> Situation. Whoa. Hey, no, nah, nigga, and you covered in blood. I would have think she's trying to kill me. Yeah, I don't know. Duke's top five viewer and paranormal Woman investigator is Mark Reyes emailed me about a video that he captured with his family while on a ghost hunt at the Evangelical Spiritual Church in Oops. Cicero, Illinois. The church was once used as a funeral home. Damn. It's said to be extremely haunted. It's the middle of the night and Rick and his family are investigating the church when suddenly their EMF meter detects something that they can't see. What happens next is truly chilling. Are you afraid? That room over there scared me. Have you seen it? This one, come here. This one. I was about to say, who the fuck are those men? This is a private office. No, I'm 
saying that it's open because we can. Did you see it? No. A woman who seems to be wearing a white gown can be seen standing behind the family on the far side of the church. Ricky says that his daughter felt a presence as she looked back, but that none of them actually saw the mysterious woman at the time. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I, didn't I thought she was the ghost. They discovered what they had captured. Oh, dripped out and shit. So could this eerie figure possibly be the spirit of one of the people who passed through the funeral home? Probably. So let me know. What you think? Them some old water. We need scary videos. So if you see something that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at Nuke's Top Five. And this is thirty minutes worth of fucking straight there crazy goes. shit. Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back with another investigation. This time at the mysterious Native American burial mounds at the Crow Wing River in Minnesota. Many people claim to have experienced terrifying paranormal activity I believe this burial mounds. I mean, Indian niggas ain't no joke, bro. Sound of drums, Native American body voices. And some visitors even claim that they've seen glowing apparitions at the site. Curious about the claims, Ian decides to do an overnight investigation in the hopes of capturing paranormal evidence. Things quickly take a very creepy turn as Ian searches for one of the burial mounds. Is it Ian? I think I've seen yeah, this dude before. I feel like anything could just pop out at me right now. Well, you dumb oh, I remember we seen this in a compilation. He starts hearing like a bunch of bears, Bigfoot, ghosts. Anything. That's not one. I think this was the one, bro. That's another one you're talking about. Okay. Where you start hearing people screaming, help me? No, it was like a bunch of howls and shit like. Hello? Starts hearing like a bunch of. Bro, how Who's you over come, there? How you come out here alone? I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. I thought, I thought I heard something, but I'm not sure. Yeah, nigga got headphones on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shit. Okay. Bro, y'all hear that shit? No, I didn't hear it. It looked like dude was footstep right next to him. Maybe I'm not going crazy. I don't know if I should try this, but I'm gonna try walking backwards because I wanna see. What's coming up behind me? <coughs> Honestly, I don't even like walking backwards because I don't know what's ahead of me. My chair, bro. Is there somebody out here with me? Oh my Ooh. god! Ooh. Holy sh! That scared me so bad. That was a straight up voice from thin air. It was as if somebody was standing like right there. Hello? I'm not gonna lie, this nigga is not scared, bro. Steps following him. Then he hears a loud, indiscernible voice. He's now a little freaked out, but he continues his search until he finally finds one of the Native American burial mounds. Nah, this nigga what is not scared. Next is truly disturbing. Alright, here's mound number two. I'm actually not gonna say anything this time. I'm actually just gonna listen. Yeah, I think you're talking. What the fuck? of things over here it sounds like voices but they're so faint a female voice can be heard speaking almost as if someone at the burial mound is having a long involved conversation But it's something else that really spooks Ian as he explores the Crow Wing River's <laughs> edge. Something truly terrifying. Even though there's not much going on right now, it's a lot of fun just being out here. Fun. <laughs> out in the wilderness. 
See you, my white brother. Even though it's dark. That's what I'm saying, man. I can barely see 10 feet ahead of me. Imagine somebody come out on my song. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just when they said it was fun being out here. Pretty sure that was a goose back there splashing in the water. Bro, this nigga is too relaxed, Ian's bro. The biggest scare so far comes from the sudden sound of a honking goose. Holy shit. Eventually, Ian finds another burial mound. Now, Ian knows that he might not be able to communicate in English with the spirits of the Native Americans buried there. So, he decides to just listen. What happens next is truly bizarre. Okay. At least they're talking. That sounds like a male voice. Could you speak again? Boom. Oh, oh my god! Dude, there was a face! I just see a face! That was a glowing face! So it made me fart, man. Nah, That's fuck crazy. that, bro. I don't believe this what shit. What no oh fucking god, face? I cannot believe that! Oh, man, man, I don't believe this shit. Right this bro, this nigga is too relaxed, bro. Yeah, go Dude, it, I cannot believe that. Nigga, Dude, what? I can't believe this. Oh my god, it's so cool. That nigga said, yo, I'm fucking scared. Dude, I just seen a face. That's crazy. I can't believe. Nigga, what? Nigga, run. Bro, the moment I heard bro. voice, I don't want to see face, nigga. nigga I, like, bro, I don't even like being in the woods at nighttime, bro. bro. Just nighttime alone. <laughs> Now, when you start seeing shit, nigga, that's a whole nother level, bro. And what baffles me is that these be the niggas that scare the black people. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you scare the niggas. And you gonna scare them fuck that shit. Bro, that's crazy, bro. I was fearing for my life. So I <laughs> shot him. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Oh my God, that was one of the craziest things I've ever Stupid. seen. It's one thing to see a light, a mist, a, even a shadow, but a face? A face. It looked like a man, too. It looked like a Native American man. Ian hears another low voice speaking from somewhere nearby. A pale face then quickly appears and disappears from right out of the darkness. Ian is shocked by what he's captured and deems his paranormal investigation a huge success. So did Ian capture the voices That's... and face of lingering Native American spirits yeah. buried at the Crow Wing River? Let me know what you think. You can watch this yeah, entire investigation and many more spooky adventures over on the YouTube channel. See a bunch of Native Americans come out on us on Toma 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 Toma. Toma Toma. Explore the old abandoned San Haven Sanatorium near Dunsee, North Dakota. The sanatorium was built in 1912 as a treatment center. Why are you even building that fucking bass? Many of these patients did not survive. They passed away inside the walls of the San Haven Sanatorium. Damn. In the 1960s, the hospital became a treatment center for the mentally impaired. However, it was eventually closed in 1987 after many reports of patient mistreatment and neglect. The San Haven Sanatorium is now known as a paranormal hotspot. And to this day, those with an interest in the supernatural travel to the hospital to explore, hoping to experience paranormal activity. So, Ricky and his sister are carefully exploring the creepy old decaying his building. Sister, she, she got both. They experienced something downright creepy. No, I found some more. Well, come on, let me have that. Oh, that's the door. Yeah, that's the door. Man, this building's getting pretty. Yeah, that nigga voice sounds good. Was that a face, bro? What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Was you, was it? No. That sound fake as fuck. Like Nigga, you could literally see the shit moving right there. Yeah, yeah, I know, bro. When he's asking the dowsing you, right? She's standing right next to you, bro. 
shit standing right next to you, how looking, would that be her? He looking at the shit that and, is fucking yeah, moving. And then still asking that was in you, right? Man, that's gotta be fake, bro. This, that's what I'm saying, but like your initial reaction, I don't give a fuck who you is. I'm running. Like you see that shit moving and still asking that was in you, right? He probably no, didn't see it. it. He no. probably didn't see it. Probably. Yeah. I mean, the fact that he's pointing the light there, know where the sound coming from. Because, nigga, you follow on the set home. Yeah, you can know he where the sound He probably didn't see from. it moving. He just but she's standing just... right next to him. You follow the sound, and it's sound far away from you. <laughs> so I don't know. Do something or something, bro. Or it could have been something falling. That shit is crazy, bro. Whoa. Probably a homeless dude. Hello. Low key though. Where you at? Now, it should be noted that this odd event can be explained away as simply water rattling around in the building's old rusty pipes. In fact, if you look closely, this isn't even a water pipe at all. It's actually a piece of old metal electrical conduit that has been cut in half. Nevertheless, it moves and rattles as if shaken by some unknown force. Ricky and his sister are a bit freaked out and worried that they might not be alone in the sanatorium. However, even if there was someone else upstairs, it would be impossible for that person to even reach this metal conduit to make it move. So this creepy capture remains a mystery. The thing down the hall a group of friends from Madrid, Spain are hanging out when they suddenly hear strange sounds coming from the bathroom down the hall. Hola, nigga. inside the bathroom but when they go something horrifying i think this is the crazy staring shit. back at them oh user Koval shares the video to tiktok with the caption what the hell was in my bathroom now what it's the certainly fuck very is creepy, that but is it real or is it all just an elaborate tiktok hoax i was thinking that too decide. nah but it's still creepy as fuck but though. it is creepy as fuck Genuine intrigue. You all nah, that shit. <laughs> just intrigue the fuck has been if that's a TikTok that shit, bro, nigga, that, yeah, I did a good job. I'm gonna tell you that. Late at night, curious to see what kind of animal it might be, oh. he decides to look through the footage recorded by his motion detecting security camera. But what he finds sends a chill down his spine. Oh, is that a ghost? Yeah, see but you know the ring cameras actually be capturing some like ghost shit. some shit? Mm -hmm. During a soft rain, a translucent figure seems to slowly walk through the backyard. Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has no explanation for this bizarre capture. But what do you think this is? Holton Avenue. Popular urban explorer Chris Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore Holden Avenue, an entirely abandoned street in Cleveland, Ohio. Now it's unknown why the street was left abandoned, other than it sits in an incredibly dangerous neighborhood. Yeah, that whole street is abandoned. Found on this street, 
and each of the deceased met their end under mysterious and horrifying circumstances. Oh, hell no. So, dragging around his balls of steel, Chris Hill makes it his mission to record and document the abandoned buildings on Holton Avenue before they are demolished. In the middle of the night, Chris begins his exploration at the abandoned First Hungarian Baptist Church. He it's always a Baptist church, bro. Made a huge mistake. Is there someone behind the door or something? Damn. Yeah, there's somebody in there. Nigga, what is that? They came for the cooking. <clears throat> yeah, there was definitely something over there. I, I think I just saw it. That's weird. Oh. is exploring the basement he hears strange noises but can't identify the source then a door above him on the ground floor just slams shut chris quickly makes his way upstairs to investigate and what happens next is downright creepy <clears throat> That shit slim back in, bro. That'd be crazy. Nigga, where else could uh -oh. they have went? They had to be in there. Why are you going in there, bro? Wait, what? Chris finds nothing and no one to explain why the door slams shut. But when reviewing his footage at home, he realizes that he captured more than he thought. A 4K static camera that he placed inside the church's chapel reveals that something seems to move towards the door just what before the it slams shut. Another static camera shows something pale and translucent moving around the pews while Chris is in the room. But that's not all that Chris captured that night. Because after a thorough walkthrough of the church, Chris decides to check out one of the abandoned houses on Holton Avenue. It did not go well. This is sketchy. This cannot be safe. That blood? Yeah. If I see face, bro. Who could go find a body down here? It actually looks like it's just underneath the house. It's not really a basement. What's that? Yeah, that should just look like the bottom of the... Yeah. Why is he bro, what the fuck? Oh shit, that's crazy. That shit's in the room with him. Mm -hmm. oh. oh shit! Oh! While checking out the house's basement, Chris hears movement on the floor above him. 
Freaked out by the sound, he quickly starts making his way out of there. I think it's, I'm There's sorry. There's someone inside with him, peeking out from behind a curtain. The man seems to be living in the abandoned home. Mm. Chris knows the horrifying stories of the people who met a tragic end on Holton Avenue. So he quickly just gets out of the house. And yeah. with that, Chris has had about enough. He decides to just head home. Now, for obvious reasons, I advise everyone watching this to just stay away from Holton Avenue. Nigga, and was that blood on the wall? Chris's yeah. You can find them all on his YouTube mm. channel, Urbex Hill. Free fall. Tiktok user Jalen Rich is hanging out with no, a that nigga was living there, bro. Cruz, California, a little after closing time. Something happens that freaks them both out. Okay, but the boardwalk closed like half an hour ago. This is scary. Okay, I'm not even of this. Well, the machine started running. Oh! What the fuck is that? You don't see that? Okay, I totally saw something. Someone appears to be seated on the Santa Cruz boardwalk free fall ride. That's the Grim Reaper, bro. It's supposed to be closed. That's death. Whoever or whatever it is seems to disappear into thin air. Jalen explains that both she and her friend saw someone sitting on the ride and have no idea how to explain what happened. Now, the Santa Cruz boardwalk opened in 1907 and has seen at least three confirmed fatal accidents over the last 116 years. One rumor even states that a park visitor tragically broke their neck on this very ride. Damn, that's crazy. So could it be that Jalen captured the spirit of someone who never made it out of the park? That's crazy. You decide. Followed home. Oh, Tiktok user fuck, Francisco bro. Javier claims that strange things have been happening at his home in Spain. After exploring an abandoned farm, he came across one day in the middle of nowhere. He says that the farm is a place of intense paranormal activity. Hola. Yeah, like, what the fuck? That's a real nigga. That's a real reaction right there. Oh, what the fuck? Francisco is recording at the farm when a door slams shut right behind him. After his days exploring the farm, he believes that something might have followed him home. Y'all curtain open, bro. Oh, the curtain's moving. Oh. 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 Francisco believes that he might be dealing with multiple entities as he begins to hear taunting voices. There was laughing, nothing. And even the sound of intense crying in the night. Bro, I'm not going to nah, lie, bro. Shit. I Her, think this is scary. one of the scariest shit we've reacted in a long time, bro. Bro, my heart is fucking pounding, bro. Bro, this is why I don't like scary shit, bro. This is yeah, why I don't like I watching this lie, shit. Yeah, like, this is, I ain't going to lie, bro. Oh, man, bro. Like, yeah. niggas showing their faces and all that extra Yeah, that, shit, bro, I think that, that face one fucked me up, bro. Shit. I can just still see that shit. Yeah, bro. And then that last one, bro. I got no more looking at Yeah, bro. With our man came yeah. What the fuck is crying? Huh? <laughs> 
He said, where you at, nigga? What's up, nigga? What's up? The chilling sound of a baby crying sends Francisco off to search his entire apartment. But he finds nothing to explain the sound. Another night and things escalate to another level when Francisco's Amazon Alexa begins to behave very strangely and absolutely terrifying. Alexa me da un susto de muerte. Oh, oh. Francisco says that his Alexa is disconnected, yet it calls out in Spanish, Go to the window. I want to see you. Bro, what the hell is going on? And that's not the only time that this happens. Right, he starts right away, sir. Oh, yeah, that goes with you for life, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Voice coming from the Alexa. Line. That sounds like a real nigga, bro. As soon as Francisco comes around the corner, then an entirely different, lower and creepier voice calls out, Hola. He ought to burn that house. Francisco has had enough, but he has no idea how to stop the terrifying activity. He tries to continue living his life as if nothing has happened. But then one night when he's hanging out just watching TV, this happens. Oh, oh God. Well, you got that katana. You better pull that bitch up. Bro, this is crazy. Francisco is startled by knocking coming from his hallway door. Man, he got Katana. He ain't scared of shit. Checking out, he spots what appears to be a small child looking in through the window. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't know what he's seeing. He quickly opens the door only to find Not no that. one there. Whoever or whatever this is has disappeared. So did something follow oh, Francisco man. home from the abandoned farm that he explored? Could it even be multiple spirits? And if you were in his shoes, just what would you do? Come on now, we all know the answer to that. Bro, it's the Alexa shit. Bro. After that shit, I would have like, yo. Nigga. <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> Nigga, hearing voices is crazy. Nigga, I'm Thanks for out. watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. You already know what I would have done. follow me on the socials and say, uh, I would not I'm have stayed, I would not stayed house, in that house, bro. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully I will see you again next week. One little peep, nigga. That's all it take for me. I'm burning that damn house down, nigga. God That's all it take fuck. for me. I'm getting the motherfucking priest. Then I'm moving. I'm going to get a priest. Man, bless that fuck shit. house. Let them spirits sorry, go. Man, and I'm moving, priest. bro. <laughs> I'm moving to the east, nigga. Shit. <laughs> I'm out of there. Fuck. Nigga. After that Alexa shit, bro. And I see that that shit disconnected. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm out, bro. I'm sorry. Bruh, that should give me chills, but that is, nigga went to the wrong place, my nigga. He this is back the most with bizarre demons. shit that we've reacted to, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Nah, that was, bro. The last two shit fuck with my soul, bro. Turn the light on. I'm scared, bro. Nigga, this last one is hard, bro. Like, nigga, hearing voices is like that bro. shit is creepy as fuck. Man, we done with this show. <laughs>
I'm done, bro. Nigga, when that dude, it's like, it's it's the thing that you don't want to happen actually yeah, happen, happen, bro. Yeah. Like, I did not want to see that nigga flick the joint like, somebody yeah. in that bitch. Sorry, bro. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? What about? I had, I had a feeling, I was like, in my head, yo, somebody better not bust through that fucking door. That nigga. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. That nigga is the. <laughs> You can say, yo, is somebody in my shit? <laughs> you going to be next, nigga? I'm going to put you on the ground. Nigga had a baseball bat in his hand, bro. He, he had something. I don't even know what the fuck. Bro, it's crazy how, like, how can somebody even be so comfortable to fucking live in that type of building? Yeah, like, bro. <laughs> like, of, of nigga, course, if you a homeless nigga, I mean, you homeless. It's a, Look you at don't that. Give shirt a off, shirt off, like, pants off, everything. Nigga was in so his drawers, bro. bro. Uh, which one do you guys prefer more, better? Like, videos from this page or from the uh, Bizarre, Bizarre? Like, because they both got, like, good ass They both videos. got the good ass so right? anything, y'all going to be getting videos from both sides. But which one do you guys prefer the most? Let yeah. us know in the comment section. And we hope you guys enjoy This it. one did it, y'all. Yeah, but this one know, freaked man. me out, but yeah. I'm not going to lie, though. I don't know if I can do any more of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> As I fall with Bizarre Bug, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this shit is hurting Bizarre my still soul, nice. bro. Yeah. Bizarre still nice. Like, Bizarre don't be having shit pop up. This shit got you, like, jump scared. Yeah, this shit got shit. me, like. <laughs> it got you all type of jump scared mm -hmm. and shit. Fuck all that, man. Hey, man. But thank you guys for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. God loves you. God bless you. And we see you out here.